Hi, my name is Paulo and I'm with Trupan Games. This will be a series of videos showing you Criteria 2. We will finish the implementation of D&D 3.5 into Criteria. Let's begin. The first thing we have to do here is create Criteria. And now we will hit the new button. You can load, save, and delete files, but for now we will create something from scratch. So I just will hit the new button. This is a very pre alpha version of Criteria 2, so more things can appear here as we are developing the language. We will be concentrating on character sheets, and this will be the area we will be working with. If you want to add a new character sheet, you just click here and click here to change its name. So we now have the main character sheet and the monster character sheet. Okay, you can select them by clicking here. You can create as many as you want and rename it, of course, as many as you want. And this will be, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, see if you want to remove something, you just select this here and click here. And this thing will be removed. At this moment, we don't have undo here people it will have in the future but it does not have we does not have it now so please be careful when deleting and or removing things before we continue let's save our work it's simple just click save choose a file name and this i will type tutorial one and click save you are done. We have this page section. Think of the page as a paper page that holds several sections sections of information on your on your character sheet. Now, now we will create another here, and we call it. I will call it inventory in, in, in slots. Let's create a section called personal. Personal. We we'll create here. A character name. Character name. This is the data type. The data type here we will be address one one of them at a time. Okay, it's text because the character name you can type anything on it. If it was a number, we will use integer. I will also create something here called stats. Now I will create more standard correct uh, standard stats that you are using to strength. Okay, now this is an integer because a number will be placed here. This is DAX. This is constitution. This is intelligence. This is wisdom, and this is charisma. Good, a good way to work to always create a new save game. In this way, if you want to to return to a previous stage, it's easy. We have here a preview of what the character sheet will be. So we click new preview here, and it creates our character sheet. Please remember that anything here will probably be changed in the future. This is a first, a first version, a, a pre-alpha version, so things may be still a little ugly. Let's start feeling it with my paladin, okay, Conorian. Of course, he has 18 strength, but not bad decks. 
very good constitution, not very bright, very good. No, 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 this is good. Um, reasonable wisdom and a very good charisma. Of course, in the future here, we will we will add some random rolling and things like that. So we can save character. We will delete this old here. So we call it Conorian. Uh, Version one. Call it skills. I will create some skills here from memory. Find. Mm, right. Okay. Sense motive. This is a new section. So when I load our character, updates here, and you have skills. Two points on climb, and three on ride, it's one on search, and two on sense motive. This is ranks, okay? We will get to the point where, where how this we use it in rules here, okay? But we are just creating the character sheet. We will now save the character. Now, what we want to do is to create a race for him to choose from. But race means that he needs some list from what to choose from. How can we do that? This is where the table section comes handy. So we now use the table section, which is here. Just click tables and the tables will be shown here we are now going to create the race table add new table race let's create a key column and this key column will call will be called race and usually key fields have text data types. It's not mandatory, but it's a good practice. Some fields here to describe what the race is like. For instance, each race in in D and D 3.5 usually has bonuses to to be added or subtracted for the stats. So I will create as strength bonus and text bonus and constitution bonus intelligence bonus and charisma bonus let's try to see how we can use this table inside multiverse design we will restrict your table here add a new line Okay, so I will say race, um, human. Humans have no bonuses at all. Let's create the dwarfs. Dwarf. Dwarfs, if I, oh. Um, I, I missed one, it's five here. Okay, good. I will tell you how to add a field. And dwarfs users have choose law two on constitution and minus two in charisma and elves if i remember correctly i need i, I need to, to get the book have dex bonus two whoa bonus and i think constitution is minus two okay so we have now dwarves elves and humans you click here and you can change the call the other data here okay this is the data and this is the key 
Oh, I forgot wisdom. Let me put wisdom here. Okay. And now, since I added this, this becomes grayed out. I need to restructure table. So now everyone has the wisdom bound and I can change it again. So you can add or remove data from tables all the time. Keys, you can remove keys, but it will, you will end like uh, losing the entire, the entire table. So be careful with when removing keys. Okay, let's export this table. And okay, I already have some some old ones here. I will delete this and create a new race here. Okay, so let's open Google Sheets. It's free to use. You can use Excel, but this is a good one. Mm. File, import, sorry, upload. Okay. You click on import race table. I usually insert new sheets, import data. This is the format we use. It's a very simple format. Columns that are keys have an asterisk before the name. The first row has the data type. The second row has the title. And this, the next rows has the table. Suppose that we want to, to put here how far. How forks, if memory serves, has two strength bonuses, and I think it's charisma. Let's to file downloads as comma separated values. Call this mod, uh, mod race. Import table mod race. Open it. If you create a new table, it it's best that's this way because you can always keep the old table. If everything is right, you delete your old table and rename this to race. Okay. Now we can change things here but we can also export and import to to spreadsheet files um there are there will be times when you you will just enter here and add a line it will be simple but if you are adding several things at once i think a spreadsheet is the way to go so i decided to 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 implement both ways of changing a table always save our work you never know this is this is very important i want to stress this you will be working with a pre-alpha version until now everything is working fine but bugs will occur and the chance that we you will lose everything you're working is great is a great there's a great chance of that so please save every 10 minutes in the future we will have auto saves and we will have undo we have several other things but first things first okay let's save it it doesn't hurt how we use this table with 
the character sheet, how we link these things. We will, in the personal section, I will create a new stat called Ace. Instead of the data type being integer, it will be a table. Now you have a new field here called race. Simple as that. Now, if we load our character that we are working with, you now have this nice race stat. When we, we work with this again, you just create criteria and load, and you will get exactly where you was, okay? Everything is here, and if you want to load your, your character, you you still be here, okay? Everything can be saved, everything is working fine. Now, bugs will occur, and I expect you to report those bugs to me. And if any message in yellow appear in this area, please report that to me immediately. Well, that's all for now. We learned how to, to start the creation of a character sheet. And we will expand this to a full character sheet of D&D 3.5. Thank you, people.